Rafael Nadal will bid for a ridiculous 12th title at the Rolex Monte Carlo Masters next week as tennis biggest names arrive in Monaco for the first clay court Masters 1000 event in 2019. Incredibly there have been 19 different champions in the 20 events so far this year. Nadal, though, is not among them. Yet. It's hard to imagine that not changing in the coming weeks and months as the King of Clay returns to his favoured surface, with a 12th win at Roland Garros the ultimate prize. But he can expect considerable competition from world number one Novak Djokovic who is once again bidding to hold all four Grand Slam titles at the same time. Tennis fanatics will no doubt crave a meeting between the pair in Monaco but the top two seeds are in opposite sides of the draw and therefore can only meet in the final. Nadal, who practiced at the Monte Carlo Country Club on Friday afternoon just before the draw ceremony meaning he arrived so late that he missed the entire draw, will begin against either John Millman or Roberto Batista Agut. One of the biggest threats to the pair will be Austria's Dominic team. The 24-year-old reached the French Open final in 2018 and has landed in Djokovic's half of the draw, with Alexander Zverev ending up in Adal's side. Djokovic will possibly face a rematch with Philipp Kohlschreiber, who defeated him in Indian Wells last month, in the second round, with the German facing Australia's Thanasi Kokonakis. Djokovic v Sitsipas Tham v Kachanov Nishi Kori v Zverev Chilich v Nadal Excuse the glare but there's the full Monte Carlo draw. Pick.twitter.com slash YGQZWBHJ3U George Belshaw at Belshaw George April 12, 2019 Aside from Djokovic and Nadal, the only other man to win the Monte Carlo Masters since 2004 was Stan Wawrinka but the Swiss will have his work cut out from the off this time around. He was handed a testing draw with Francis Lucas Puy, who practiced at the Moratoglu Academy this week. He is due to meet Nadal in round three. Brits Kyle Edmund and Cam Norrie will take on Serbia's Dusan Livic and Frenchman Adrian Manorina respectively. Canadian hotshot Felix Auger Aliassim was handed a late wildcard and will face a qualifier in round one. Recently ousted ATP chief Chris Kermode was in attendance at the ceremony.